Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the most common issue users face while trying to connect to the Citrix environment. Sometimes while users are trying to connect to Citrix applications, they might come across this issue. It says something like the group policy client service fail the logon, access is denied. So when they click OK and when they try to access, when they try to click the application again, it still throws the same error. So this is mostly an issue from the server end. We need to troubleshoot from the server end. I mean, it's an issue with the profile, user profile, and we need to work on the server to fix this problem. So let's say, for example, user is connecting to a server. We have to go to the that particular location where this uh, user profile is getting loaded. So let's see whether, uh, in my scenario, I'll go to local drive, which is C, and I go to users. And you need to look for the user profile, user ID, basically something like, I don't know, MY23412 or 213, something like you need to look for the user information here. Once you find the user information, all you need to do is you need to right click on it. You need to just rename it. OK, you need to just rename it. And once you rename it, uh, once you rename this particular profile, you can ask the user to connect to the application once again and see how it goes okay if it is a if it is a local profile then you have to do it on the local server but if the profile is if, if the profile is somewhere in the share file or network share in that particular scenario you have to find out the network file share information and you need to connect to that network file share to reset the profile. So if you have access to network file share, you can do it by yourself. Otherwise, if you don't have access to it, you need to probably uh, send this or send this incident or the case across to that particular team. It could be storage or some other team and they will be able to reset the profile. And once the reset of the profile is done, uh, you can ask the user to log into Citrix again and user should, uh, should be able to uh, login without any issue so basically we have either local profile or roaming profile if it is local profile you can do it on the server itself okay and you need to just rename the profile from c uh, local drive c users and find out the user information and just edit just rename the profile uh, that is one thing and the other thing is if it is a network file share you can check with another team and they will they will uh, reset the profile and they will send it back to you especially if it is a roaming profile okay once that is done uh, you can ask the user to try to connect and uh, user should be able to log in without any issues to the citrix environment so this is a quick example of how a network file share looks like so if you have access to it, you can go to this uh, specific path and you can do it by yourself. But if you don't have access to it, you cannot uh, you know, reach this particular file share, then you can uh, check with the respective team to take care of it. Okay, I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.